Hello everyone and welcome to this animation series. Today I'm going to show you how to put everything together in a video including sound. Everything what we have made so far. So let's get started. So if you never use it before, there is a video editing tool in Blender. You just click here on video editor. And this, I don't really use it. So we can close this area. And over here, what we can do, we can click on add. And we have rendered image sequence. We have rendered images in PNGs. So I will import image sequence. It works like this. Uh, you open the folder where did you saved your images. So I saved it um, over here. And you select the first image, scroll all the way down and hold shift. And uh, then you click on add image strip. So when I press play, you will see that my images were imported into Blender and they've been turned into video. So I will do it for the rest of the video of the images. Always select the first image, scroll all the way down and hold shift and click and add image strip and turn off replace selection. If you hold control and hold this with the mouse and you scroll, it will snap on the end of the video or the image sequence. If you also select the image sequence and hit G and control, it will snap. G is used for move. I will have to increase this timeline. So I will put 1000, for example. Hold control. If you scroll with the middle mouse button, you can zoom out, zoom in. Alright, so let's check this. We have here everything. And now we will import the sound. So I will click add and here I will select sound. And move it all the way to the front on the first frame. And now when I play it. It will play with the sound. We can also go over here. And uh, over here we can turn on the waveform zone so we can see the sound. What I will have to do, uh, we can also go here to playback and when I'm scrolling, I don't hear the sound. So if I click on uh, audio scrubbing, then now I will hear the sound. But I don't really need it because I see the sound, I see the drums over here. So right now, 
I will choose because this shot is a bit longer than we need. So I will just choose the beginning and ending what I like. And uh, when I have it chosen, I select it and hit K on the keyboard and it will make a cut. And now I can select this one, which I don't want and hit delete and it will delete the part of the video. Now I'll hit G, hit control and it will snap over here. And now I will look where is the next drum. I'll just play it. And it's over here. So I will zoom in. So now I select it again, hit K, and it made a cut, delete, and I will select those two, G, and control, and it will snap. So now when I play it, Well, it works just fine. I'm just worried about the quality of the renders because I already rendered the animation before and didn't want to do it again. So I just used EV on very low resolution so that why it looks like this. And uh, right now I want to add end to the video. So I will go over here to add and I will add text. If I go to text settings, here I can write like, thanks for watching. Here you can change the size, the color. Let me just play it. All right. I will find the next drum. And I will probably end the video over here. So I will select uh, the sound, hit K, cut it, and delete it. And it tells me that it's frame 579. So I will put the end on 579. Actually, 578, because I don't want to have um, like window without anything. Now I will over here select the right edge of the text and drag it. Help control to snap it. What we can do, we can go to beginning and we can animate the text. For example the size, I will make it a bit smaller and uh, I will also change the font go to downloads, I have Montserrat and I will make it thick, black, Montserrat and here I will add a keyframe for the size and at the end I will change the size to for example 100 and add a keyframe so the frame is like zooming in I can also play with the opacity. So over here I can go to zero at the beginning and go somewhere in the middle, put one, and then at the end I put zero again. So the text is like showing up and disappearing smoothly. I can also change the sound, like to go away. I right click on the sound and it is fade from current frame. So when I play it, it will fade out the sound.
What I can also do, I can add a color, select the edge, G, and control to snap it. And right now, if I move the text above the color, it will be visible, like black screen like this. So when I play it, it will look like this. And now the final export. So we can go to export settings. And over here, I can choose any location where you want to put it. So if you click over here, here you can select the bottle and accept. And uh, that's it. You just go to render and render animation. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. I have been also thinking that since I have walked you through the whole animation that I could make video, make a tutorial how to model the bottle, how to texture it, and how to build the lid and build it into parts and make it ready for the animation. So let me know in the comments what would you like me to do next. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.